Alright, so last time we looked over uh, a few elements. So there was um, the heading elements. Um, so we looked at H1, H2, H3, 4, 5, 6. Um, we also looked at the paragraph elements and we looked at the um, yeah, I, I think that I think that was it. So let's go over, let's revise that, then go over a few more. So just as before, you type not uh, doc type. I say not because in other languages, uh, programming languages, when you have exc exclamation mark, it's used as a negation. So not doc type. Um, let's type one. Uh, HTML. Oops. HTML. Okay, so here, <laughs> what's a head? Head. Um, so we're going to put, uh, let's say, uh, a title. All right, and let's call it um, learning HTML elements. Okay. Then in the body. Just gonna expand that. Okay, just give that some space. All right. So the first thing, um, just as before. So we did headers, right? So um, we'll go over that again. Which one? Is that six? Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this is six, five, four, oops, four, three, two, one, and then in here. See what this looks like. Let's just open this. Okay, so just as before. All right, um, that's that. Now we're going to do something interesting. In programming languages you can comment out things so when you comment out something what actually happens is that the compiler or the interpreter or the translator just ignores that part of the code All right this is useful when you're discussing when you're putting in some documentation for other developers to see so if I were to hit command uh, forward slash or control forward slash right VS code will automatically do for you so if you look what it did is to create something that looked like this an opening tag with an exclamation mark and two slashes. Okay, uh, it keeps auto doing everything for me. Then, you, two sorry, two dashes. Then you put the two dashes again, and um, a uh, right arrow. Okay, so what this what this basically does is that it comments out the code. Now, if I were to go back to the browser and refresh it, it's all gone. So in here. Um, we can just say, uh, so again, you can do control forward slash or commands forward slash depending on your laptop. Okay, uh, heading elements. Okay, I'll just copy this. And just as before, you know what? Uh, let me let me leave this so we can look at everything at a glance as we go on. Okay, so paragraph, just as I said before. Right, so, um, uh, so this is a paragraph. Yeah, I'm spending too long on that. This is a paragraph, okay? And I don't need this space. It doesn't really matter, but yeah. Refresh. Okay, cool. Now, what other kinds of elements are there? You've seen that on websites. You can you can click links. Right, so there's something called the anchor element. Too much space here. So the anchor element is what you'd use if you want to access a link. All right. So this is what it looks like. So it's with an A. Okay. So A, and then say href. This is called an HTML attribute. Okay. So I will show you what this is. Okay, so a href, right? This is a hyper reference to a different web page, which could be another 
websites or another HTML document on your page, on your website. So in a future video, we'll show how to link two HTML pages together. So here we can just HTTPS dot dot slash us, Google dot com. Actually, no, we did code dot com. Okay, and then in here, um, I could do this. So I'll just say subscribe to the decode and <laughs> like this video. Okay, now let's see what happens if we refresh that. Good. Now, do you see it looks different? Of course, the color is purple because Google Chrome knows I clicked that link before at some time in the past. Okay, I opened that link. So now I'm going to click on this, right? And where does it take me to? Okay. Okay, so it takes me to another page. Um, also remember that we're doing this completely for my own device. Right? This is just happening on my own laptop. So from my, if you see at the front here, this is a file, rather than here where you see uh, HTTPS, you see a file path. So don't worry about this. I'm just trying to say that, you know, this is from my laptop or coding live and building the website live. Now, what does this page look like? <clears throat> Well, it shouldn't look like anything different from what we've written inside of VS Code, right? So, just as we've done in VS Code, you can see, right, this is the entire body. This is, a, this is the H1, H2, H3, 4, 5, 6. This is the paragraph, right? And then this is our, um, uh, what's it called? Our anchor link, okay? Now, you saw that it's opened in the same window right uh, so you same tab sometimes we don't want that um so i'm going to say something here that's for now it's okay however there's some security risks to this but don't worry about that for now yeah don't uh for because we're just building something tiny but don't do this in production so you do, you say target equals underscore blank okay so that's the target uh yes so this um targets yeah, so it's just, yeah, they just wanted to show you the documentation uh, from from VS Code. What Target basically is, uh, it just shows you like the context, right? Which which browser should you be in? So you can see it's not yet loaded here. All right, so I'm gonna have to refresh. Okay, now when I click this link, see it takes me to a different tab. That's that's how they do it, okay? I know maybe for some, some people already know this, but for some of us, like, you know, um, this sounds really cool. I remember the first time I found out about it, I was like, whoa. Okay, so now, apart from that, we also have um, lists, okay? So list elements. Okay, so there are two types. There's an ordered list, and then there's an unordered list. So for the list elements, right, so let's do an ordered list. <clears throat> so this is actually what it looks like. You start with, Ooh, I don't know if you can actually read uh, this if it's too small. Okay. <coughs> okay. So ordered lists looks like this OL <coughs> for ordered, right? And then inside of that we have LI for list item. Okay. So um, an ordered list is basically actually. Uh, let me see if you can guess this. I'll write both types of lists and see if you can guess what they should look like. Uh, so an ordered list, uh, let's say uh, programming languages, right? Let's call it, um, uh, let's say the first thing here is Java. Okay. And just because I'm lazy, JavaScript, Golang, right? Just, you know, some languages, and let's say uh, Python or Rust or something, okay? Now, let's copy this exact same thing. Oops. There's always formatting issues. To fix these, if you want to indent to the left, you just press shift, hold shift, and tap tab. So that moves it to the left. If you want to move it to the right, you just press tab again. Just tab on its own. So tab moves to the next, shift brings it backward. It's like, like a typewriter. So now, I think that's how typewriters work. Um, anyone who did business studies <laughs> in, in Nigeria, you probably did uh, typewriting. 
okay or well, i think it was during becker days anyways so now this is an unordered list okay so instead of ol it should be what ul okay so it should match right we must always make the opening and the closing match always right when you open make sure make sure you close it right okay so what do you think the difference will be between these two well what does it mean to be ordered what is unordered so uh let's go and see so let's refresh the page and voila so that's literally just it right an ordered list would enumerate the items while an unordered list is basically just a bullet list right just it just has bullets of, uh, of the items of course <clears throat> you can change how things look and all that but um for now that's that's not the main concern okay now apart from this you also have images of course you can't build websites without image okay so you have img now we're going to do something interesting here <clears throat> I uh, forgot to write this. Image element. Okay, so with an image, uh, just like I've described before, there are things called attributes, right? So an attribute is is um, <clears throat> a property of this. Think of it as a property of this element. So this specific element, right? It um it has an attribute to it. So here, the hyper reference that this element points to is with a code.com <clears throat> and its target is underscore blank right here our image has something called src not every html element has a um, an attribute and they don't all have the same thing everyone has something completely different so let's say image src and let's go find some image <laughs> i wonder which image we can use Yes, if we right click here, we say copy image address and we bring that here. Okay, okay, so that's pretty that's a pretty long image. But in the end, okay, so what I'm going to do is just move it to the next line. Okay, it doesn't really doesn't really change much. But um yeah, doesn't really change much. So then I'm going to finally close it okay so the image elements so now let's see what this looks like voila the image is there okay so just a recap see how things are you know loading right here okay and what do you notice it's it has some dimensions here 176 by 176 All right if I click on it like this image how, how do I make it larger, right? What if I want it to be larger or smaller? Well, luckily enough, <clears throat> so maybe I should have moved this to the next line. Luckily enough, um, this has image, the image element has um, height and width attributes. So we can say height equals uh, 300, uh, let's say 300 pixels. And we say width equals 300 pixels. So the picture, it's, it's basically, what we saw there was basically much a square. It's, this, the height is the same as the width. That's definitely a square. So let's save this, right? You can see, every time I make a change, you notice that something here pops up, one. And you also notice that this changes from an X to a white circle, right? So if you press Control S or Command S, that should save it. The one will disappear and the, the X will return, okay? So now you see this this is what it currently looks like. So let's refresh the page. You see it's larger. Okay. So there's much more uh, stuff to it. Now what about a button? Right? You also have buttons. And in future videos we'll do even more of this. So buttons, right? Um uh okay, so let's do this. So instead of button, let's call it inputs. Maybe I should make a separate video on forms and inputs. Okay, so in the inputs, we we'll say type equals button. Okay, and um, 
sorry. Let's say value. So value just means the text in there, right? So the value, we're going to say um, subscribe to we. I keep saying subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to we. They could. Okay. So now I'm going to go here, re refresh with Command R or Control R. You can see at the bottom there is a button. But this button doesn't do anything, right? Uh, basically, doesn't do anything. So um, uh, let's move this down. Whoops, I deleted something. Always make sure you check your code. That's the benefits of using um, syntax highlighting, right? It allows us to just visually see that, okay, there's something wrong with the code. Okay, so um, uh, apart from apart from, <clears throat> so this is the input. This is an example of using the input element. So let's do this. I'm going to add something called a break line. So there's a break line um, because we're not yet using CSS. I'm just going to break the line manually because, as you saw, there's no space here. So I'm going to reload that. See now it's under. Why don't we do something interesting? So we're going to copy this and just paste it twice. Okay, so input elements, let's change this to text. Okay, and uh, placeholder is another one. Let's call it username. Okay, here we're going to change the type of password so you can already see what I'm trying to do. All right, uh, um, and then we're just going to remove what's here. Okay. So obviously I don't need this much space here. I don't need this much space here. Okay. So these are just examples of in input elements. So I'm going to, of course, I need the extra line. So let me just show you what it looks like. So I'm going to refresh this. You can see the username, right? Uh, the code and the password is. You can't see my password. Okay. So let's move those to the next line. Um, so we could just use a break line for now. In the future, I'll show you how. Okay. There's also something called a horizontal line, right? That's actually HR. Okay, so this horizontal line does break line. Okay, so horizontal line is a horizontal line. Break line moves to the next line. It's like hitting enter. So it's like a carriage return, moves to the next line. So username, uh, we they could. And password is uh ah, what's my password so subscribe to our channel i think i'm overusing that okay i'll stop making that joke okay and of course right now the button does nothing okay so now let me teach you some neat trick so if i click on this right you see on the right there's this select an element in page to inspect it so if i click on that you see it turns blue Okay, so if I click on it, it turns blue. Now I can go here. Now let's just, it shows you some brief inputs about it. So I'm gonna click on this. Now it highlights what, what is here. So you can see this is the input elements that we just used. What happens if we change this to text? So type text in between the two quotes and hit enter. Ta da So you can actually change this, okay? Um, now, obviously, this doesn't, um, this is only, you know, this is just for demonstration. Like, you can't actually hack anybody's websites with this. Like, if anybody's website was built well, you shouldn't be able to hack, um, uh, like, hack anything. When you modify things in the browser, right, um, when you modify the code, that doesn't actually affect what's happening on the main server. Okay, so I've modified this type equals text. If I refresh the page, it goes back to password. It doesn't affect what I have in the source code. Okay, so let's leave it as that for now. Um, we covered H1, the headings, paragraphs, anchor link, ordered list, unordered list, image, and um, horizontal lines, uh, input types, and also break lines. So um, please make sure to uh, ask any comments you have. Uh, down below or even on our Twitter when I post this video on Twitter um, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.